everyone, it is day five of our sardine challenge. What will we have today? But you guys can betcha, we're having some sardines. So come along and let's get started. Good morning everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry, our little Chihuahua's little Sally girl. Little Sally, Sally Schnickerdoodle that we call her Sally girl. Hey you guys, I am dressed for the gym. We are going to the gym, we're working out. Tomorrow is our first day with our trainer, so that should be exciting. We are on day five of our sardine challenge. Yesterday was Halloween for us. We went over to our daughter Chalice's and Dave's and their, her uncle was there and the kids were there and I made keto pizza with my keto bread recipe as the crust and it had two kinds of cheeses, it had pepperoni and it had salami on it and we had a great time. We had some keto cookies, we had the fat bombs and we had a blast. I didn't measure any of it so it's not in my macros today. That was just a fun day and we truly, truly enjoyed it. We didn't hey, film it though. No. Some of you guys, yeah we didn't film it either. Some of you guys asked us to show just snippets of our exercises. So Harry's gonna insert that, but first he's gonna insert our morning numbers, right here. It's finger pricking time, it's finger pricking time, it's finger pricking time, okay you guys? I used to be a Honolulu dancer. Yeah, right. I got my moo moo on, see, uh -huh. got the moo moo on. Yes I do. Obviously it's, it's uh, not like some of the lancets aren't as good as others. Oh, lift it up. Point zero point four. Of course, we were at Chalice's and had uh, keto stuff. Yeah, keto. It's point three. I made pizza. We had a good time. It was real. Hmm. What is it? Yeah. Really. Yeah. Okay, you guys. See you in the next segment. Now you guys, we are drinking a pre-workout shake. We are drinking keto chow. We're adding 14 grams of fat into each one of ours. And it has been working, so I just am going to drink my keto chow pre-workout shake and we're gonna leave after 30 minutes after it digests and then we're gonna work out. When we come back, I am going to redo my numbers to see if they came up or down or were the same from this morning after post-workout numbers, and those are gonna be inserted here. Finger pricking time, finger pricking time, take two. This is after our uh, keto pre-workout shake, and we have exercised, we are home, and we are checking our blood and Cur glucose. We're curious. We are curious. Got an O3. Three, both of us did, but you know, we burned our ketones because we were working out. Yep. Ketones are fuel. My glucose is what I'm interested in. Eighty-six. One oh eight. Okay. Just wanted to know. Inquiring minds wanna know. Ha! Huh. Now, you guys, I am looking for workout clothes. I'm 68 and a half, and I need some support. I need a lot of support. <laughs> <laughs> From the ankles up to my head, yes, I do. I've just been wearing t-shirts and just some leggings that I had, so um, stay tuned for when I start getting some uh, good exercise clothes. I will share. But yeah, I need some. Harry finally got some uh, pants that I bought for him at Costco that are really nice. And they have zipped pockets and such. So those are really nice for him. But I need some things. Yes, I do. I need sports bras. I need some nice pants. So I've got my Vionic tennis shoes. So I'm happy with those. Those work really, really well. But I am looking for some nice um, exercise sportswear that will help hold me in. Yes, indeed. 
Anyway, you guys, I am gonna cook something plain, simple, and easy for breakfast after we come back from the gym, but we're gonna get started. We're gonna go and exercise, and Harry will insert those and share everybody, and then we will come back and see what we are gonna do for breakfast. So stay tuned. Back extension. Lateral raise. Builds up that side of your leg, you know. Artificial hip and all. Nice job. We're done exercising. We're just doing our warm down. Recumbent by getting used to being able to ride my bike again today. Yes, indeed. Bye from the gym. Hey, everybody. We are having the fisherman's breakfast. Yes, indeed. It's basically eggs and sardines. And you guys, I just tried Louisiana hot sauce on sardines, and it's delicious. It is. So that's what we're having today. Fisherman eggs, Wendy style. So I'm cracking this. How many eggs do you want, Harry? I want four. Uh, yeah, same here. Oops. I'm covering and basting. Yes, indeed. Let me put my eggs away. And let's get the sardines going. This one's mine. I already put, you guys, Louisiana hot sauce is really good in these. It really is. These are delicious. Yeah, Wendy made a little short this morning. Yep. I just wanted to try Louisiana hot sauce on plain sardines, and it was delicious. So I got a couple big ones in here, Harry. Mm -hmm. Where's Sally's plate? Let me get him. yours these are so packed in tight man I know it's amazing how they get them all in how they there. get them all in yeah oh that's a nice one so for sale I will It gets a little bit of oil. Remember, oil causes diarrhea. You don't want your dogs to have too much at yeah, once. Yeah, no kidding, man. Or they're going to be needing to go to the bathroom. Yes, they are. 
So you guys come back when we have fisherman eggs and sardines for breakfast. I think they're ready, had it, Harry. The eggs are ready. Ooh, look at those. Perfectly beautiful eggs. Oh yeah. Let me see how am I gonna do these. A couple at a time. Mm -hmm. They don't all slide out on you. Right. Well that's the whole issue. They slide right out. Oops, right on top of my sardines. Get out from under there, Mr. Sardine. This is going to slide. I'm going to give Sally some. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to make sure Sally gets hers. She needs a lot of eggs today. She has sardines and eggs, and then here's some butter. Mmm, butter on the sardines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we put cherry wood blend on everything because it's great on sardines too if your sardines are mild and not salted like ours are then this is a great delicious flavoring to put on top oh no gosh darn it i'm almost out oh <laughs> yeah I, I have some coming what <laughs> yes i do and you guys, we want a little mayonnaise and mustard to dip our sardines in. So I'm just putting a dollop of mayonnaise. Putting a tablespoon on. This is a teaspoon that I'm dishing it out with. It's a teaspoon. It's a dinker dan. Putting some mustard on. And you guys, the topping, the pie la resistance, Louisiana hot sauce. Oh, yeah. We love this stuff on the sardines. Yes. I tried it this morning. This is mine. It's still got some sar it's still got some on there. I had a piece this morning. Man, is it good. Want some on your eggs? Yes, sir. Yeah, I put a little bit on my eggs. Yes, definitely. Okay. Okay. And you guys. This is what we are having sardine-wise today. We are having a fisherman's breakfast with sardines and basted eggs with a side of mayonnaise, mustard, and some Louisiana hot sauce on top, you guys. Oh, yeah. So you guys know what that means. Gotta eat my sardines now. Yes, indeed. Several of you folks said you put ketchup on yours. So I'm putting some on mine. I'm going to do a taste test real quick, just not to leave anybody out. A little mayonnaise, a little ketchup. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. If you like ketchup, I'm going to smear my mayonnaise, mustard, and ketchup together. Mmm. And get some Thousand Island dressing going on. Yes. Absolutely. That's a win too. Ketchup and sardines. Who would have thought? There's your sardines and eggs. There you go. Eat up. And you guys, I am going to make something delicious. But I also want to tell you, we're going to go to Costco. We got one of Harry's little pensions that he gets. And I want to buy more sardines. And I want to get, um, someone told me the Kirkland brand toilet paper works great for the septics in Arvita, in the RV. So I'm going to go get some of that. Well, I'm going to test that first. We're going to, we're going to go get the, uh, we're going to go get toilet paper and paper towels and 
sardines because with both of us eating sardines we need at least 60 cans and I don't have 60 cans. The month is young for sardines and I need to make sure there are enough to go around so we're going to go grab those real quick and probably another egg because I'm almost done with my egg. Yes I drank my keto chow and put it in there so it really works good okay. I am not for drinking your food instead of eating it but I am for additionally adding a pre-workout shake that is high protein, low carb, and has fat in it so that your body can get some fuel really quick to help, right? Especially someone like me who found out I didn't know I was insulin resistance. Harry didn't know. You know, we're going through some things. I'm having sugar dumps uh, in the morning still from the dawn effect or whatever you want to call it. And I'm running out of fuel at the gym. So these pre-workout shakes that I call them with keto chow has been invaluable because every ever since the first day we went and I tanked and I came home and drank a keto chow, every single day since I've had one in the morning before we go, and it has worked. And it's carried me through so that I can come home and eat my breakfast. So I just want to share that. I don't know if it's because I'm 68 and a half and my body is a little bit slower. I don't know what it is, but it's working for me. So don't come after me because I am adding it. It's not a meal. I'm adding it into additionally what I would normally eat as a pre-workout for me and my body. So just want to share that with everybody. But you guys, we're going to go to Costco. I think I'm going to change my clothes because I worked out on these, in these. And um, we'll come back and I'll share what I get at Costco. Yes, indeed. You guys, I am so excited. We're at Costco. One of my viewers said they have the calm at Costco and they do. This is the one that we buy. These are the ingredients right here in white and below. This is $18.99. It's $5 off right now, so it's on sale. And it's a 20 ounce container. Paula, you need to go get yours at your Costco. So I'm excited, you guys, I'm buying one. MCT oil shelf stable still $19.99 you guys that's a great sale price because you get 40 fluid ounces for the price of 20 anywhere else really good price you guys they have grape coupon mustard for $7.99 and these are huge you get a two pack so you get two 16 ounce jars and it's $7.99 remember there's a mustard shortage right now Mustard lasts on the shelf forever. And this is organic French's mustard and it is $6.89 for a two pack. And it'll just sit there until you're ready for it. We eat mustard on everything. Let's go check out the sardines now. They're on the same aisle. I wish I had bought a whole bunch of this when it was on sale for under $7 a piece. You guys, I'm getting one, two, three. <laughs> How many more should we get, Harry? How much is it a case? Uh, it's ten ninety nine for five, so five, so five, ten, 30. so thirty three. One more? Yeah. Cause we gotta put some in uh, Arvita too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They last forever. Yes, they will at least six or seven years. Mm -hmm. And the way I like sardines, they'll be gone. Okay, you guys, what else did I say we needed? I need another egg. Got some? Oh, okay, they're all out of them. Because of the egg shortage. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna get two. We eat eggs every single day. I'll make room in the refrigerator because there may not be eggs next time we come. So, just saying, folks. 
1949 and Bounty is 2493 and they are both 12 packs so we're getting this one yes we are so I love Charmin bathroom tissue it's 2649 for 12 but this one is Kirkland brand 30 rolls same 30 rolls and 30 rolls sorry so do we want to get Kirkland brand this is the one that you're supposed to be able to use in the RV. Yeah, right? I'll have to test that. Well, we can test. Got lots of testing going on here. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So, right? Yep. Yeah. Do you want to get one of these and a, and a Charmin? Sure. Okay. If you're allowed. Well, I don't know why you wouldn't be. I got to look at this. You know what? You get more sheets. You get 205 sheets here. You get 380 sheets on a 30 roll. I'm getting two of these. I'm just going to try them. Okay, so I'm trying to remember the ones we bought that we use as emergency. No, those are single ply. I will never buy those again. Yeah. This I'm getting. One for RV to one for us. And then here's your trash bags, Harry. Yeah, I need some trash bags. Right. Grab one of those. Which one do you like better? Well, you want the... I don't want scented. Day older control. You yeah, you want the unscented ones. Because I can't, I can't, I'm scent sensitive. Scent sensitive. Got them. No, we needed some lime. What? Lime. They don't have it here. I know. No, I've got to go to the, you can get those at the nursery too, you know. It sweetens the soil. Right. Okay, we're done. Let's go. Oh. Healthy noodles. I want to see if they have yeah. it in the deli. Get me a couple. I guess you're going to have to put them here where the purse is. Just get me two. Turn it the other way. Tall way. So we get two in a basket. Yep. Now that we can have our flavored water again. Oh, make sure these are the ones that are uh, totally zero calories. Zero? Zero sweeteners, <laughs> zero calories, zero sodium. It's innocent water. Innocent sparkling water because there's going to be a shortage on all sparkling waters, anything that is carbonated. Because mysteriously, Mississippi has the hugest carbonation uh, station uh, with the water and such, and it's been contaminated. So beer's not going to be able to be made as many, and um, it's going to do more of the, what did they say? The, pop the, the, the soda pop. Uh, sparkling waters, yes indeed. It's amazing how many things are failing across the world right now. Anyway, you guys, I think we're done, Harry, except for the healthy noodles. I gotta see if they have any. All right. You wanted ham. Yes. It's on sale for $3.49. This is eleven dollars and eighty-one cents. I think I'll get a ham for you for cool. Thanksgiving. Everybody, we are back from Costco and we got paper towels. We got two bathroom tissues. We dropped the one off in Arvita, so Arvita is totally stocked. We can throw that under the bed and keep that and we're all stocked up there. The problem is, is we have to stock Arvita up because we are gonna go, actually next week we're going on the 11th, actually we're going the 10th because our appointment to get the awning put on, for those of you who are uh, longtime viewers, um, we're getting that put on on the 11th at 9 a.m. And we didn't want to drive 120 miles in the early wee morning hours to get there. So we're going, taking our time the day before. And then we'll let everybody know what day we're going to be at Starbucks down there off of Kino, right across from Costco, right next to the Costco gas station um, there. Um, and we're going to have coffee. And if you guys want to stop by, have a cup of coffee and get us, uh, meet us and, and get to know us a little bit. We'll let you know all about that. But that is going to be either the 11th or the 12th. So we'll let you guys know. Anyway, we bought more kitchen bags. We needed some. We always get the big bags, so we have plenty. Now, Costco only had cage-free white eggs. That's all they had. They had. They didn't have the brown eggs. They didn't have any other eggs other than the white eggs. So I got two more instead of one. I got some Grey Poupon because I love mustard and this is great to cook with. I thought I'd use it in a recipe for my sardines. 
Harry wanted ham for Thanksgiving. They had some. This one's $11, and I think that'll do nicely. Now, you guys, look. Harry and I have been doing calm. We That's love great. it. Paula is the one who introduced me to it. This is a 16-ounce can. Well, this one at Costco is a 20-ounce can. This is on sale right now for $18.99. You get $5 off the regular price. It's normally $23.99. And Calm has magnesium carbonate in it, which is a really good uh, magnesium. It's a refreshing drink. We like it. We put it on ice, sit and sip it for about an hour before we go to bed. And this helps with muscle, leg cramps. You guys, magnesium's, mm. uh, we all need some. So I got one. Thank you to the viewer who told me and alerted me that they had Calm on sale at Costco. I can't remember who said that, but thank you so much. I love it when you guys give me the heads up on bargains. <laughs> I read every yeah, single man. comment and I, I thank you guys all so much for that because I wouldn't have known that. And it's over in the pharmacy area, kind of on the wall part. And I showed that, like where the MCT oil is and those kinds of things, the vitamins and all that stuff. It's more health-related stuff. Anyway, excited. I mean, and do you know that she even reads, get this, every single comment on a giveaway one, too. Because, you know, you get like five or six or 700 people commenting. And she sits there and reads every right. one of them. It's like, I don't know. how I, I drive, duh. Yes, I, tr I, I try. I get like maybe halfway. Well, I'll read you the good ones. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, that's my job. I got more sardines. Yes, I did. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 cans. Remember, there's 60 cans in the 30 days. So I had to get more. And I just thought it would be easier just to get them um, while they're there. Yes, indeed. And you guys, um, La Croix was on sale. $6.99 for 24 cans. And the flavors, hibiscus, lemoncello, and... Um, uh, past day, oh. no, it's the watermelon. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm very excited about that because <laughs> if you guys go to my uh, community tab, someone's, a couple of you said, where's the community tab? So I'm going to show you where it is on mine. So here's my phone apps. I go to YouTube. I go to YouTube. And then I go to my YouTube channel, my page, right at the top, home videos, shorts, playlists, community. You should have a home playlist community. Go to your community tab and right here, I say one of the videos I watched about the food shortages is 10 items that will soon be impossible to find. The other one is 14 things that might disappear from a grocery store. Oh yes, now there's also a chocolate shortage in the US now too. So that's when I tell you to go to the community tab. That's where that's where it is. Yeah, you got to go to the channel. It's on your home page YouTube channel. Yeah, you got to go to the at the, the very top, across the top. It's your channel. They have to go right. to. Right, it's my it's, channel. Go to Loving It on Keto channel, and then at the top, it's there. So we saw a thing on TV talking about carbonated beverages such as beer, the small crafted beer mainly. Um, Sparkling water, soda pop, yes. The, the, the plant in Mississippi, which is huge and, and helps with all of the carbonation, uh, has been, um, what did I say it was? You know, it's, it's, it's been... Um, in, not infected. No, no. I said it earlier in Costco, now my brain's you know, they, they, they Contaminated, it's contaminated. The product's contaminated. So now, that's going to be a shortage. Isn't it strange and how everything's a shortage? Chocolate's a shortage in the uh -huh. U.S., you guys. It's crazy. Not only do you have the fuel shortage, but they yes. but also now you're having other shortages and problems with the producers at the same time. And the manufacturers. Isn't this amazing? Harry, the manufacturers too. So anyway, I am stocking up every time I can. We just got one of Harry's little um, um, checks. And um, we get paid once a month, so I'm stocking up. 
I'm getting the things while I can while they're on the shelves because we're going to see more shelf shortages, I'm afraid. So just from what I'm seeing, oh, just from what see. I'm hearing, talking to truckers that own, that work for other companies, diesel fuel shortage is a real thing. They're the ones that bring gas to the gas stations. So anyway, I'm not trying to push prepping. I'm not trying to push hoarding. I'm not trying to scare I'm anybody I'm just either. trying to let you know what Harry and I are doing to prepare for anything that comes our way. As senior citizens, we are retired, we are on a fixed income, and this is how we are preparing. A little bit at a time, all the time. So, and, and rotate my shelves, rotate my canned goods, just keep it rotated and be prepared. That's all I'm saying. Simple, anyway, simple. you guys, we are gonna put all this away. The problem is, is having a place for this. Goes in the back room, yes it does. I'm really happy though we've got it for our Vita because that can yeah. just go underneath us like. Well, I got to test it first. Okay, here I'll let you do the test. No, you guys don't understand. You get a thing of water, you put some of the dissolving Come over stuff. Here. How do you test paper for an RV, Harry? In an RV, you have to put this stuff into the holding tank where the waste goes, which actually dissolves it all. So it goes out easily. Use regular toilet paper. It doesn't dissolve that no, well. Doesn't. Especially Charmin. It's yeah, too thick it's and It's terrible. Too heavy. And it clogs. It makes big balls and clogs. So the way I'm going to test it is I get a bowl of water. I put some of the tissue in there and put some drops of the, the stuff that you know, dissolves, dissolves it and see if it dissolves. That's, That's how I test plain it. Plain and simple, super know. easy. She's thinking something else. Why yeah. you said you were going to test it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm thinking, test it. I know. Anyway, you guys, I got to put all this away. We'll be back in the next segment. Hey, you guys, I am making hamburger patties. Prepping. Prepping. Prepping day. Prepping day. I like this. Really works out well because, like, if I need to make myself something, I, I make grab them and I freeze them and put a layer of parchment paper in between, and then I'll cook some, and that's what we're having for tonight. So, you guys, granulated garlic. I just put some on. If you guys didn't read that, you got to really read fast. Onion. Don't blink. Sally doesn't get any of this. Right. Well, you can make and one then patty. And onion, no, because onion is not good. This is going. Onion is not good for dogs, so she can't and have any of this. Do you want me to make her some out of this? No, it's okay. I can pull some meat now. Yeah, pull some meat now because we're, I'm running real low. Like maybe I got. Well, I'm a glad day you or told me else. now. There. Okay. That's good. That'll do it. Now, I have times. got hickory smoked and I wash, rewash these off because I'm touching them. Yes, you're right. I am. I'm touching them. Touch, 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 touch. This is the hickory smoked. I always wipe my bottles down. Yes, I do. Because whether I wear gloves or not, they get dirty when you're cooking. Hickory. Yep. So I'll just cook this in a little pan for Sally Girl. Give her a little bit more. A little egg on it, but that's fine. Nope. Oh, a little egg ain't gonna hurt her. That's good. Yeah, that's she enough. I'll, get, I'll give her about. I'm just two, two, sure. I'll give her about three days, three or four days. Anyway, so. you guys, come on in here, Harry. That's Sally's part. That's give, Sally. She gets an ounce twice a day. This is actually not an ounce of beef. No, an ounce of food, food. twice a day. Yes. Total. It's a mixture. It is her vitamins. It's her uh, MSM Pure. She gets probiotics, prebiotics, uh, multivitamins. She gets uh, freeze-dried liver. She gets a kibble, a dog food kibble that yep. we give her that we've shared before. And this is what I'm doing for us. I, in fact, I think I have a lot of this stuff. I should make a dog section too because a lot of people ask me that. I'm what do we do for Sally? Yeah, what do we do for Sally? So I think I'm just going to make a section for her because we buy everything basically at Amazon. Well, now I can't make this because of that. So I need you to put the camera down and get the little pan that we can put her stuff in so I can use this to make my stuff. What pan would you like? What do you make her ground hamburger in? There it is. And I'll cook, one of us are going to cook it up. 
Wendy will. And we're just going to weigh our hamburger meat cooked. The patties when they're cooked, you guys. It's just easier. The, the difference in the meat is super... Uh, it's a lot, and so it doesn't matter what it is raw. We're going to count it cooked. So you guys do it your way. I'm doing it my way. I've seen, I've seen experts talk about both ways. And so you do for you, we'll do for us, and everybody be happy. Yeah. Happy, happy, happy. Everybody be happy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was busy at Costco. Oh, Everybody man. had a thing of toilet paper I and was, a thing of yeah. paper towels in their cart. Yep. Must be, it's the beginning of the month. That's why. It that's why yeah, everybody's getting yeah. their stuff for the beginning of the everybody's month. Everybody's getting their stuff. Yeah, that's what it is. Exactly. It is. Yep. I agree. I'm agreeing with you. I know you are. I know you are. But what am I? I uh -huh, almost said it. <laughs> when we were kids, we'd play that nasty game forever. It drove me insane. You and Pee Wee Herman. Anyway, you guys, we'll be back when we have some hamburgers. Actually, I think we'll go ahead and close out now because all I'm doing is making these. Yeah, I'm going to freeze true. them and I'll cook us some for dinner. We'll share everything tomorrow, what we ate today, and we'll go from there. But you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow, Sally.